Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of the Player Career Mode series and as you guys can see, Sidinho is going through a midlife crisis. What on earth have we done with his hair? For a few episodes, we're gonna rock a blue mohawk. Ah, this is gonna look so funny in game, but it's gonna be jokes. We'll see how things go with the blue mohawk. Maybe it'll bring us a bit of luck and we'll score some bangers, but yep, a new fresh trim for Sidinho. It's, it's clapped though, I'll be real. This is a clap trim. Our overall is still 75. By the way, a lot of people in the co comments were telling me that you guys have been following this career mode and doing it yourself as well. And you guys are super high rated already and I'm lagging behind. I don't know why. Maybe it's because we simulate a fair few games. Maybe that's why. But I think simulating a lot of games keeps the pace of the CDs fast. Plus, it's realistic, you know. An, a 17, 18 year old isn't going to be playing every single game. So that's why we're kind of lower rated than probably what we could have been but still i think we're doing okay not bad at all some of the stats are looking absolutely fantastic in this episode we should wrap up the month of december and head right on into january you know maybe a few transfers here and there we'll see how things go but the push is on to finish in the top two right now we're second we got to try and win the championship we'll see if we can do it by the way if you guys are enjoying this player career mode keep the support coming in by dropping a like in the video subscribe if you're new around here these episodes are uploaded um onto my second channel so yeah subscribe to my second channel and follow me on twitch that's where i record these videos let's get into it i think for the month of december i'm gonna try and play newcastle and bournemouth back-to-back -back games in the space of three days not too sure if that's a good idea but the rest of the games are pretty simple games and I think Palace should regardless win. So that's what we're going to do. Newcastle should be fun. We've won 3-0 and 4-0 in our last two games. So we're making that push for top spot. Let's quickly get through the next two games. We've taken an L there. That's not good. A win, which is nice. And now we're playing away to Newcastle. We're second in the championship. A win against them could put us three points clear in fact no yeah three points clear of them so this is a big game against them let's go for the win and we'll be debuting Sidinho's mohawk that's gonna be hilarious as well okay this i don't think the mohawk is gonna last a, uh, too many episodes guys because this is <laughs> this is yeah it's it's bad it's really bad what is my keeper doing guys he was literally just running down that right side for no apparent reason I don't know what he was doing and we've given the ball away now. We get it back, thankfully. The keeper just lost it for a minute. Chance for Ryan Fraser. Newcastle on the attack. First chance of the game, I think. They're playing it back. I'm just waiting for a counter-attacking opportunity. We're just not getting it. Fraser. Ah, Ryan Fraser with the dribbling finds Longstaff. We know all about Longstaff. Plays it in. We get it away, but that was close. Keep the ball for a bit, dude. Keep the ball for a bit. I didn't even ask for a pass and he gave it away stupidly. Ryan Fraser. Wilson. That was so dumb from Eze. I don't know what he was thinking. Shocking from him, dude. Shocking. Gave it cheaply and cost us a goal there. Just awful, dude. Just awful from him. He just buckled under pressure and we're 1-0 down. Gets the ball though now. Cedinho. This could lead to something. Maybe not. Oh, we have tripped the player and we get the ball because of it. I don't know how that's legal. Connor Wickham shoots but Shah with the block. At least... We took a shot, even though it wasn't on target or it didn't even get near the goal. But we're getting outrun on the counter. I'm not able to, you know, sprint past anyone. I, I just feel like it's just not working. It's just not working. Newcastle far better than us right now. Another chance for Almiron to shoot. It's too easy for them. Uh, the team is just not passing well. We're just not doing anything. It's frustrating, dude. We're getting completely outclassed by Newcastle here. Fraser's broken through and make it three. Maybe it's the hair. Maybe it's the hair. Maybe it is the hair, guys, because... Yeah, this is embarrassing. 3-0 down to Newcastle. Wow. Play it back to me. Play it back to me, please. Cross. Do something, dude. On the volley. Keeper catches it. Did you guys see how long it took for the player to just put a cross in while I was already through and onside? I feel like this team just does not want to pass to me, guys. They just don't. They really don't. I to be fair, if I see somebody with a blue mohawk, I'd probably not pass the ball to him as well. Because it's just stupid, dude. Much better. Much better now. Much better. Now that's what I call a pass. But Wickham, the, the goal is the other way. Stop being a back pass merchant, dude. Fraser, make that four. That's going to be the biggest defeat Sidinho has ever suffered in his career. 
Newcastle have just blown us apart. This was awful. This was genuinely horrendous. Probably the worst night of Sardinio's career. We just got completely demolished. I don't know what kind of passing my teammates were doing. We just got humiliated here. I want to see my match rating for this one. It was it was 6.6. .6. That's probably one of the lowest ratings we've had. The blue hair is just not working. We probably need to change it in the next epi, guys. I, I really think we might need to. Well, the good thing is the coach is picking me for the next one against Bournemouth. So we're going to keep going against Bournemouth. Stamina is a bit low, but... Uh, we're going for this one, guys. We need to bounce back with a semi-decent performance. First touch of the game. It's taken 15 minutes to get Cedinho on the ball and he's given it away. Oh, God. We might be put on fraud alert, guys, after this episode's performances. I don't know what's gone wrong with us. Mateta, come on. Play this one to me. Cedinho, left foot. What was that for a block? We get it back, though. Cedinho, finesse shot. Ah, oh, good save from the keeper. At least we're getting some shots in. Big upgrade over that Newcastle game where... I just don't know. We weren't doing anything. Dude, what is this defending? Am I playing like against some top 100 for champs player? I've got players sliding in out of nowhere and getting the ball off me, dude. It just makes no sense. Like, it's unreal. Oh my god, Bournemouth might score. And look at this. Oh, dude, he's just literally hitting the air, dude. He's just kicking his foot in the air. Finally, we win the ball. A breakaway now. Cidinho, go on. This is what you want to see from him. Lovely ball. Could be an assist. Mateta, please score this Mateta. What a finish from Mateta. Cedinho with the assist for that. I'll take it. Finally, a goal contribution. Palace in the lead against Bournemouth. That's a relief, guys. That is a relief. Now the game should open up a bit more. Good assist. I'll take it. I'll absolutely take it considering our form so far. Okay. Bit of pace. Bit of pace here from Cedinho. Bit of pace. Inside. Cedinho, finesse shot. No way is the keeper saved that. That was such a good run. Deserved a goal. We deserved a goal from that. Guys, did we actually try to score an own goal there? I'm pretty sure it was my defender trying to head that in. I swear this Palace team has got so many problems. Like, it's just that everybody's so stupid here. I don't know what they were trying to do. Hey, that's a good tackle from Cedinho. A bit of defensive work, guys. Good passing as well. Come on, make it count. Make it count. Mateta's through again. Get it back. Back to me, dude. Back to me. I'm playing it back to you. Superb. Ah, that was some neat football. Good build-up play for once. We probably deserved a goal for that. And there you have it. Full time and it's a Palace dub. I'm glad we bounced back with a win. Nothing too insane in terms of the performance but you know what a win is a win an assist is an assist we move no goals so far in this episode hopefully next game we'll get that so after that win over Bournemouth we've gotten a three-point gap between us and them which is good but we're still three off Newcastle we don't want to get into playoffs man that will be just brutal so finishing top two is the goal okay we're still in the fight we now have an FA Cup game against Sheffield you guys know what happened in the Carabao Cup it was pain against Arsenal I want to try and go on a cup run with, of course, Palace. So we're going to be playing this game against Sheffield. The problem is we're going to be super low on stamina. We're literally playing our third game in the same week. So don't know what's going to happen, but we're going to see how we get along. Also, we are in the transfer window, so you never know. An offer comes in, we might be on our way out. So we'll see how that goes. But for now, we're going to be playing Sheffield away. FA Cup, our first FA Cup game. Cedinho's first ever FA Cup game and can it be a game where he gets a win? The Carabao Cup I remember was just endless pain. We hit the post like a couple of times and that was brutal man. We could have knocked out Arsenal there and that would have been so nice for the series but it is what it is. Maybe that changes against Sheffield tonight but they're playing a five at the back and that's never good news. Mateta, go on. Go on Mateta. Back inside. Huge chance. Wickham. Oh that was, that was the play. Everybody was involved. That was the play. Oh, we should be 1-0 up with that. By the way, one thing I'll say, when you're playing as like a left winger or a left midfielder, you lose a lot less stamina. And that's why playing like two or three times a week, it, it's it's actually just fine. Like, I don't feel we're losing that much stamina compared to what we were playing in like CDM. So that's a good point. Roshina does actually really well there. Oh, back to me, dude. Back to me, Cedinho. No way that gets deflected. We're getting a lot of stat boosts, but... Oh, I should have scored that. I controlled it. How are these blocks coming in out of nowhere, you know? Flying. It's every defender is just blocking everything this episode. Wickham, continue that run. 
Released it for Corner Wickham. Has to score. Let's go. Corner Wickham scores. We get an assist on our FA Cup debut with Cedinho. Let's go. Palace 1 0 up. Similar to the first assist we had in that previous game. Really solid through ball. Wickham gets the job done. Solid finish from him. That was that was good. I'm satisfied with that, guys. We're 1 0 up against Sheffield, and we could be on the start of an amazing cup run. Let's hope so. Wickham, back to me, dude. Back to me. Here goes Cedinho. Big chance. Ah, oh, he still has it. Left foot. I was trying for the uh, near post, but left footed power shot just wasn't there with the one star weak foot, really, was it? Come on, play it to me. Oh, that's nice. That's nice, Cedinho. Oh my god. The left foot, man. The left foot always disappoints me in this series. Uh, we've scored a few bangers with the left, but uh, more often than not, we just struggle with it. Mateta. What a pass. Cedinho. Ah, oh, the blocks. Every shot we've taken has either been blocked or it's been a really bad shot. That's just been the story of the episode, guys. Although now that might change. So a neat, neat run. Ah, oh, taken away by Sheffield. What a pass. I think he's on as well. Cross back in. Oh, what a cross. What a cross. That's got to be the best assist we've had in this series. What a ball played into the box. And we score. We get the next-gen celebrations. A couple of assists for Cedinho on his FA Cup debut. And we're sending Sheffield United packing. Let's go, guys. We're progressing to the next round of the FA Cup. And that's what it means to Palace. Let's go. By the way, 9.3 match rating. That, that's superb in an FA Cup game as well. You love to see it. We're simming through a few games. I think it's, it's about time we get a bit of a break because we've played three games now in a week. I reckon we'll now play the next FA Cup game. I cannot wait to actually find out who we've drawn. It's Southampton. That should be a lot of fun. Southampton should be a lot of fun. We're still in the trance window, by the way. Let's see if there's any drama happening. Nope, no offers for Cedinho, apart from a few matches being rescheduled. Are we going to be playing against Southampton? We are, so that is some good news. We'll keep that game, though, for the next episode, guys. This is where we're going to be wrapping things up here. Three good games. We didn't score in this episode, which is a bummer, but we're up to a 76 rating now, which is great. Progress has been made. And if we look at, of course... The standings in the championship. What are we looking at? Top the league. Let's go. Results have been going our way. We just need to get automatic uh, promotion. Winning the league will give us a lot of stat boosts, by the way. So I'm hoping we can get that done. But for now, that is it for today's My Played episode. If you've enjoyed this one, drop a like. Subscribe if you're new around here. Twitch is where I record these episodes. Catch me live there. And I'll see you guys next time.